Hey everyone, Bob here from the Cyber Rob City Workshop, and today I want to show you my finished shop vac cart. It combines a dust stopper cyclone on top of a rigid shop vac with holders for all the hoses and accessories you'd need. Let me give you a tour. So for those that don't know, the dust stopper is a cyclone system that traps much of the sawdust you suck up into a regular old 5 gallon bucket. This prevents most of the dust from going into your shop vac and clogging your filter. So it's a great addition to save money. I've even replaced the filter inside the vacuum with a HEPA filter and dust bag to trap as much of the fine dust particles as possible. The overall design of this cart is not something I came up with. You can see a lot of similar designs on YouTube, which utilize the vacuum's existing wheels, PVC pipe, and a piece of wood which puts the dust stopper right above the vacuum, making it a compact, standalone unit. One problem though is rigid as various vacuum models, and the current models don't directly fit any standard size of PVC pipe. So I found a design for an adapter that used one and a half inch PVC pipe, but the one and a half inch size I thought sounded a little flimsy, so I remixed it to work with two inch PVC pipe to make it a little sturdier. I printed these adapters out, I think at an 80% infill. I may at some point add bolts through them to secure them even more. The top is a two foot by two foot piece of three quarter inch plywood. I added a rounded edge to it with my router to give it more of a finished look. I sanded the top and finished it with a couple of coats of Watco lacquer to give it a little protection. On the underside, I found a 2 inch PVC flange design, then printed out four of those and painted them black to match the pipes. I drilled holes through the flanges in PVC pipe and then used some bolts and wing nuts to prevent the top from coming off. Using the wing nuts makes it easy to remove the top in case I need to empty the shop back, which actually isn't very often. I used the setup for a few months, but actually was really annoyed having to reach the power button down below. So to fix that, I bought a blue shallow PVC electrical box, a switch, and a stainless steel cover to add a switch in line right on the top of the cart. I cut a hole for the switch to sit into and then routed and chiseled out an area for the box tab so that it sat flush with the face of the plywood. To finish it, I added a stainless steel plate to give it a nice industrial look. I did buy a lighted switch because I thought it would be cool, but it's so dim that you can only see it in the dark, so it ended up being pointless. I then cut the shop back wire. I left just enough on the shop back side to reach the switch, and attached the leftover cord to the other side of the switch. I needed a way to wind the cord up, so I built that out of some wood scraps and used a 3D printed handle on the outside to just be able to grab the cart and move it around where I wanted it. I had all the accessories for the shop back stuffed in a drawer, and the hoses were always in the way falling on the ground, so I really needed a solution to store them better. I started with the tubes. I had this idea of cutting holes in the top where they could drop down into for storage. It took a few design iterations to figure out exactly what worked well, but I ended up designing a two-piece, 3D printed part. The bottom would sit into the hole covering up my rough jigsaw work, and then you'd place the top piece on and screw them down. Now you could drop in both tubes and they catch on the rigid hook. I printed it in two pieces so you wouldn't need any supports. For the hose, I wanted something it could hook onto so it wouldn't flop all around on the ground. I designed a piece that screwed to the edge of the plywood and let the hose hang on the side. I cut an indent in the top so it hung closer to the middle of the cart. You can actually use these for the tubes as well. Now for the accessories. This part was really frustrating. Man, Uncle Bobby, it took you a lot of tries. I probably ended up with 12 different designs trying to come up with something that would secure the accessories, work at different angles, and be easy and quick to print. One of the issues was that the inside diameters of the accessories were slightly different. One accessory would fit perfect and another was too tight to go on. I tried various models of using the rectangular locking system to help keep them on, but I eventually gave up on this idea. I almost had a winner with this idea, but it makes the tools face outward instead of inward, and that isn't what I wanted. I finally decided on just a piece that screwed to the backing that the accessories would slip onto. It gets wider at the base, so you just press them in deep enough until they're snug, so it works with the different inner diameters. My rigid kit also came with an additional hose and some car cleaning accessories. I printed off a vacuum hose hanger design I found online and added a bungee cord to keep it from falling down. The smaller car care accessories had two different inner diameter sizes, so I designed two different mount sizes for these. One of my goals was to keep the accessories as tight to the cart as possible, so I attached these so that they all pointed up. You'll also notice I have a few more vac hose hooks attached to the top. This is so when I'm cleaning my car, I can hang the larger hose from the hooks while I'm using the smaller orange hose. You'll quickly see that I didn't realize that the end of the orange hose didn't have a hook on it, so now I have to figure out a solution for that. I haven't used this to clean my car yet after adding those additional hooks. And that's basically it. All of my shop vac tools on one mobile compact unit. It's a really cool shop vac cart, Uncle Bobby.
I've uploaded to printables.com all of my designs for free download so that you can print them out for yourself. In the description, I also link to the parts I use that other designers created, so be sure to check those out and download them as well. Thanks to my niece for helping me out with this video, and as always, thanks for watching.